In this video, we will be creating our very first schema. Now, what the heck is a schema? So, schema is basically a blueprint, right? Which, which we need to tell MongoDB that, hey, MongoDB, we are going to store these kind of data, right? Yeah. So, this is basically a kind of blueprint. So, schema is basically a kind of blueprint, you can say. Okay. So, in here, uh, I'll be cre creating a folder. I'll give it a name of models. And inside this model, I'll create a user model, user.js. Okay. Now first we need to require mongoose const m o n g w s e mongoose equal to require mongoose right and here I can write const user s c h e m a schema and new mongoose dot s should be capital in here schema and this takes an object and here we can write all the fields. So the first one will be the name. So you user will have a name and it will be of type string. And here we can add required, right? So this will be a required field and require will set to true. We will set it to true. Okay. Uh, we will also user will also have an email and that will be also of type string S T R I N G and it will be also a required field required will set to true and user will have a PAWSWRD password and again this will be of type string and this will be also a, this field will be also required and we can set it to true and I think this is it for now right so we need three fields as of now now we can export uh, or we can now make use of this mongoose.model and here we can give a name to our model let's say user right u is capital in here and here we can pass this user schema right okay now we need to register this model in our app.js right so here we can use this require and dot slash and models inside this model we have this user model like so now here you can see we are not storing it in a, in a constant because we are not exporting it right from in here. We are not exporting it. We, are, we have just written this mongoose model. We have we haven't written here something like uh, module 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 dot exports and like so because you know a lot of people uses this approach right they export and they can use it in, uh, use it in any other file where they want but you know sometimes we get error that hey you have used this model in this one place so you cannot require that or use that model in another file so to prevent from that error i am using this approach right so i am just here writing mongoose and model and i am registering this like so and i can use that more that model by just typing mongoose dot model and the name of that model that is user Use, I can use that like so. Okay, so we will be using it very soon. I will show you that. Okay. And I think this is it for this video. We will continue further in the next video.